Charlotte? Back here. Oh wow, pretty cool. Damn, Charlotte really is a good artist. Hey. Thanks for coming. Of course. Ethan's dad already pick him up? Yeah, they just left. I just wanted to thank you. Ethan needed today. Um, so did I. Honestly, by the end, I was having just as much fun as he was. He thinks the world of you, you know. After everything, I think you're sort of a zero. Well, he's sort of mine. How creative he is. You must be so proud of him. He was so thrilled to see you show up with the sword. I think that was mostly about the sword. Maybe, but I think he was happy to see you in his world. <sighs> sorry, I'm sorry. I'm okay. Charlotte? God, Alex, don't mind me, okay? Just a lot going on. Is she still in mourning? <sighs> uh... You do have a lot going on. I can imagine. Getting Ethan ready for his dad, the shop, the spring festival. I'm always here if you want to talk about anything. You're really sweet, but I'm okay. Thanks for swinging by. I'll see you at the festival. Mm. You really okay? <sighs> Charlotte, I can tell some- SAID NO! FUCK, DON'T YOU LISTEN?! Whoa. Okay. Shit. This was a mistake. Where did that anger come from? Yeah. Uh, right, before we scan her, I just wanna quickly look at this. It looks like Charlotte is really pouring herself into her art. Oh, wow. Innocent sculpture? There's almost an innocence about this one. I wonder what it's saying. She's trying to strangle a cat. Wonder what's inside. Oh. <laughs> I wonder indeed. Uh, what's with the saintly sculpture? Beautiful. So why does it kind of make my skin crawl? Because she's making some pretty freaky works of art. What's this one? This hurts to even look at. How much did it hurt Jeez. to make? This girl's got some, uh... We say, uh... Dark thoughts? So red is anger, right? So, I mean, she can't just be angry at us. storm or something that she's feeling and she's at the center of it Her anger 
anger is so intense. Maybe there's something here that can tell me why. Is it this one here? The, um... Gabe, it's your fault. Why would you teach me to need someone again just to go and leave me all alone? About this one. Alex, it's your fault. Everyone loves you, but I can't look at you without thinking about how fucked everything is since you came into my life. That is not entirely inaccurate. What's with this one? Ryan, it's your fault. You were supposed to protect us. Why couldn't you? She's so angry at everyone around her. But there's something else here. Was that? Was that? Did what is yeah. wrong with me? I can't let myself feel this way. When did I become such a fucking monster? Ethan. to me and I hate him for so long it was just me and him it took so long to learn how to be okay with that and I was but then Kate I can deal with hating Ryan or you or even Gabe but Ethan if he had just listened Gabe would still be alive it all comes back to that oh jeez um what are we gonna say your feelings matter or your actions are what matters I mean, her feelings do matter, but... But, like, she's clearly caring for her son. I gotta go with actions here, guys. None of that makes you a bad mom. No matter what you're feeling, you always give Ethan what he needs. That's what matters. None of it fucking matters! He's dead! I wish I were too. Oh, wow. This anger could kill her. And nothing I'm saying is helping. What if... I could just... take it away? Can we do that? I 
can do it. I can take her anger from her. What would that do to her? What would it do to me? And even if I can, should I? Take Charlotte's anger, or should we leave her alone? I feel like this is the um, narratively sensible or, or uh, logical choice for us to do, given that we can do it, but. Like, there's something to be said about letting her work through this by herself. And... Yeah, look at this. Look, so, we take Charlotte's anger, it's all red. We leave her alone. Why is the door glowing, like, gold? Isn't that kind of an indicator that when she's able to come out of this angry place, she's going to be better off for it herself, rather than having us take it on? Yeah, I, I say we, we leave her alone, guys. I hope I'm not going to regret this, and I hope she doesn't do something stupid, but I think we should leave her. I can't. I'm sorry, Charlotte. Um... Apologize, say nothing, reassure. We can't reassure her. What reassurances can we give? Yeah, reassure. We gotta. You're strong. You'll get through this. I guess we'll find out. Oh, God. Why couldn't things have just been fun and loppy? Okay, okay. Hear me out. Is Typhon run by the Illuminati? That would explain the conspicuously triangle-shaped logo. Boom! Finally cracked it. <laughs> hey. Alex. So, how did things go with Charlotte? Um, it's kind of private. Oh, I couldn't help her. Um, it's kind of private. We've got to let her. Honestly, I think she'd want me to keep what happened just between us. Sorry. Of course. Don't apologize. So... Please tell me that the USB stick revealed all of Typhon's secrets. Not yet, but... Alex... We found a recording of Gabe's call. Aha, uh -huh, that proves it. That proves it. I should probably listen to that. I need to know. We're here for you. Okay? Thanks, Steph. Well, it seems like all we can do is listen to the recording, so let's listen to the recording. Type in safety. Mac? It's me. I'm working, Gabe. We can talk about what happened later. This isn't about that. I need you to call off the explosion. Ethan's in the blast radius. Shit! He could get killed. What the hell's wrong with you? He snuck off. We're, we're up here right now, trying to find him. Mac, please. All right, I'm on it. We'll hold the blasts. Fuck. You can't imagine the headaches this will create for me. Thanks, Mac. Whatever. Just doing my job. Uh, 
That's it. That's exactly it. Ignored him. <sighs> it's so fucked. You know it's bad when Mac turns out to be the good guy. You okay? We're taking these fuckers down. Oh, there it is. But I don't get why would they go ahead with the explosions this when this USB stick has what I need. Time to dig through it. Um. What? Why? Why are we looking at all the stuff? Talk about what? looking for a needle. A key part of any good investigation. Steph went all in so we could get our hands on this. Let's hope it makes a difference. Ooh, why Steph Blue? Whatever's going on with Typhon, it wasn't worth Gabe's life. So, how fucked are we? If we can't work it out ourselves, I could always just seduce the truth out of Diane. <laughs> oh, you really think so? Uh, yeah. You saw me in action, right? Gotta find joy in the little things. Right, Gabe? Ryan brought this down from his station. Hope it comes in handy. A cold case and a warm beer. Oh yeah, that's exactly what you need. Ryan's pretty good at this detective stuff. Why is he angry? We're going to get them. For you, Gabe. We're gonna get them. Okay? Yeah, I know we will. All right, let's uh, let's have a quick read of the map. So, the Typhon Pit is there. Dillon River's there. Prospect Lake is there. Old Mill and Processing. Old Refinery's there. That's where we were. Tall drop off. Rock slides common. Uh, Avalanche is common. Two thousand eight mile mine collapse sinkholes. Okay, we'll probably come back to that in a second. Let's um. Come on. Thanks for spilling your guts. Let's have a look at, uh... Gabe's call came in from the sat phone at 8.41 p.m. I should find the next call and see if that has any information. Find out what happened after Gabe's call at 8.41 p.m. Uh, so, satellite phone there. So what happened next? To two minutes later, there was an outgoing call from Typhon. What does it say? Here? It's Diane. We have a problem. You're kidding. There's a kid lost in the mountains near the pit. We need to postpone. Lena? Haven is your site, Diane, and therefore this is your decision. I know I don't need to remind you of the stakes. Someone could be hurt. Or killed. We've been over this. Anyone up there has disregarded posted notices and accepted full liability. What? We're talking about a child. I'm just asking for one day. If you postpone tonight's scheduled blast, you put Rhea in jeopardy. That puts the whole company in jeopardy. Is that what you want? Who's Rhea? No. Then do the math and make the right call. Email me when it's done. I will. What the hell is Rhea? Must have been pretty damn important. Maybe Diane says more about it in her email? Maybe. Let me see if I can find it. Rhea? What is Rhea? Um... So that was that. This is the next day. Uh, so these are the call logs. Let's look at the emails. So these are the calls. This was on the 28th of April. Um, so... Da, 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 28th of April. And that is... Uh, Seems like a lot is hanging on these inspections. I wanted to congratulate your efforts in the Haven Springs expansion campaign. I just got back word from the state and we're officially past inspections. Past inspections, you've earned it. All that's left now is the vote. I've been hearing great things about your progress with the town members sponsoring the Spring Festival. was a nice touch. Keep up the great work. We're in the home stretch. Dennis. Dennis Walker. This is the email Diane mentioned. Uh, so what is Rhea? I warned you, Lena. I effing warned you. Rhea went off undetected as you insisted. Wow, who's Rhea? And now someone is dead. You better have a plan. I am not going down for this. At least not alone. Jeez. Uh, that was 9.42. And then immediately, I understand that you're upset and emotional about tonight's tragic, unavoidable accident. Therefore, I'm choosing to overlook this momentary lapse of judgment. I'll be calling first thing tomorrow to discuss how we move forward. I suggest you take the night to cool off. Wah. 
Damn. Is this what Diane sold her soul for? Hello. After our recent conversation, I took the liberty of expediting your application to our executive training program. We'll move forward with your enrollment as soon as you have the situation in Haven all wrapped up. Wow. What is it? Too bad money can't fix all of Typhon's problems. Sorry about here the troubles you're having with your hauler. Uh, spoke with the folks getting the brakes fixed. Oh, this is about a car. I've decided to go ahead and buy you a new one. I'll send you out a 789 hauler. Um, it should be efficient enough to handle two pits. The bat guys say they'll have it there next week. Who would have thought getting away with murder would be so Wait, bureaucratic? This is going back in time. Who would have thought getting away with murder would be so bureaucratic? Date expectations on our two sites. Please thoroughly review info. Decommissioned. Uh, general protocol inspection. Active uranium pit. Rhea? Is Rhea? Something, is that code for uranium? Oh, no. So I've just realized we're going backwards in... No, we're not going backwards in time. What? The hell? How are these emails sorted? This doesn't make sense. Seems like a lot is hanging on these inspections. Uh, okay, well that's all... Uh, that's all I can see there. Anything... Mm. That's a satellite phone. Typhon HQ, Lena. Lena, hello, Diane. Is it safe to assume you've gotten your emotions under control? My emotions? Someone was killed last night because of a decision you made. I think... I would be very careful with what you say next. Who do you think is more at risk here? Me or you? Excuse me? Now, of course, we're all committed to helping you make it through this difficult period. We don't want to see anyone be scapegoated over an unavoidable accident, right? Right. Great. Then you and I are aligned. Who else knew there were people in the mountains? Just my safety manager, Mac. He got their distress call just before I contacted you. Do you trust him? I... I think I can convince him to be trustworthy. Good. Good. Only one point of contact, and you've got him handled. I think we're going to make it through this just fine. Speak to you soon. Okay. I refuse to feel bad for Diane in all this, but damn. So it was Diane who's putting the pressure on Mac. HNB Investigations. Bennett speaking. Hi, Bennett. This is Diane Jacobs. Lena told me... Yep. Been expecting your call. Okay. I'm not sure what the next step is. Just need all the pertinent information on the employee in question. Name, number, address, significant others. We'll handle the rest. I see. Just come by the office. My secretary will take everything down. No records that you were even there. Got it. Okay. I'll come by tomorrow. Looking forward to it. It's so gross that Typhon has people watched. That's messed up. Uh, what's the Gazette saying? Typhon Mining, this is Diane. Hello, Diane. My name is Rory Praha. I'm a journalist with the Rocky Mountain Gazette. We'll be printing a story on last night's accident in the paper tomorrow. Would you like to provide a comment? Yes, I would. Last night's accident was tragic, and made all the more unfortunate by the fact that it could have been avoided with a simple phone call. A simple phone call? Can you speak more about that? Of course. Typhon always has a safety manager on duty. One quick call from Mr. Chen to our 24-hour emergency line would have alerted us that there were people in the danger zone, and we could have reacted accordingly and stopped the blasts. Are other Haven citizens in danger of meeting the same fate as Gabe Chen? Absolutely not. As long as you heed the warning signs, you will be safe. And if you ever do find yourself in an emergency, that's what our emergency line is for. There's no danger whatsoever. All right. Jeez. We'll be sure to include your comments. Thanks for giving me your time, Diane. Have a nice day. I almost threw up listening to that. Same. How corporate is that? Typhon Mining, this is Diane. Diane, it's, uh... It's Jason. Hello, deputy. You have good news for me? I suppose I do. You are officially cleared to continue regular operation. The county no longer considers your pit an active crime scene. Well, that's a huge relief. Now, to be clear, the investigation is still open and active. Typhon hasn't been cleared of anything yet. Sure, I understand. But can we start mining again? Yes, you can start mining again. Is there anything else? Nope. No, that's it. Well, thanks for the call. Yeah, no problem. Take care, Diane. 
You too. Seems a lot easier to get away with murder than you'd hope. Um, and what's this last Titan one? Mining. Diane? Oh, hey, Joe. How are you? I'm good. Doing real good. So I have a pretty good list of candidates to go over with you. Looks like I've got 40 names. Great work. When can we go over it? Uh, hey, Diane, can I be candid for a moment? Please. It's just, well, we've all been following the news and, I don't know, after that accident. Joe? I just want to be sure there really are positions waiting for these people. There's nothing to worry about. If you have qualified candidates to show me, I have jobs to offer them. Glad to hear it. You free Tuesday afternoon? Around three? Sure. Great. Looking forward to it. Me too. See you later, Joe. I hope Typhon has a nice severance package. Um, let's go backwards in time a bit. This is ACFC. How can we feed you? Is the good pickin' chicken thing still going on? It sure is. Nice. Uh, let me get a large order of the spicy nuggets. Excellent choice. And would you like the biscuit and gravy or the mashed potatoes and gravy? Oof. Uh, okay. I, uh, sir? Oh, fuck. Um, <laughs> sorry. Do you, do you need a minute? No. No, no. I'm uh, gonna go with the bis uh, potatoes. Yeah, let's just do potatoes. You could do both for fifty cents extra. Oh my god! You still there? <laughs> yeah. No. This um, is brilliant. No, that's okay. Just the potatoes. Okay, I've got you down for a large order of spicy nuggets with potatoes. That'll be ready for you to pick up in about thirty minutes. Thanks. That was riveting. That's brilliant, Mac. <laughs> Lace <laughs> Flowers, this is Riley. How can I help you? Hey, babe, it's me. Mac, hey, what's up? I'm on lunch. Oh, you're not going to believe what J-Man did this morning with some of the new diet. Hey, so I'm not sure about this part here. Shh, it's Mac. Is that Gabe? Hey, Mac, can we talk later? I'm kind of busy. Busy how? Let's hang out when you get off, okay? Hold up, why is Gabe there? Okay, talk soon. I love you. Wait, Riley. Oh, Mac. Oh, so this is the stuff that uh, led up to him going off the handle. Hi, Belt Plumbing. How can I help you? Hi, I'm, uh, I'm of Typhon Mining. I think we had one of your plumbers up here last week. Typhon Mining. Uh, give me just one second to check our records. Yes, I have a record of a service call regarding some sewage backup. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, so, um, I don't think it's fixed. The field report I have says that the issue was diagnosed and solved. Can you describe what you're seeing? Oh, uh, you, you know, I, I really can't. Look, can you just send someone? I'll have someone out to you later this afternoon. Great. Have a nice day. Yeah, I doubt it. Nasty. Oh, dear. Uh, and Tyson what's this Mining, one? this is Diane. Hi, Diane. It's Rose down at Town Hall. Hey, Rose, how are you? Oh, I'm busy as a bee this time of year. You have a second? Some folks have come in here with some questions about the expansion and all that. I was hoping you could give me some answers to pass along to them. I'll do my best. What are the questions? Let's see here. Okay, first question. How many jobs do you expect to create by opening a second pit? We'll be starting with 25 new positions, but that number is expected to grow to 45 within the first year. Oh, give me just a moment here to jot that down. Alrighty, next up. A uh, number of questions regarding risks for pollution. Water, air quality, etc., etc. Anything you can offer there? You know, let me pass that on to our environmental outreach department. They'll get back to you with all the relevant fact and figures. Oh, sure, sure. No problem at all. And last one. They want to know if there will be more mining vehicles driving through town. Yes, we will be increasing our transportation needs somewhat with the expansion. But to minimize disturbance, we plan to direct drivers to stick to approved trucking routes. And of course, never after 6 o'clock. Never after 6. Thanks so much, Diane. That's all I have for you right now. My pleasure. Have a good one, Rose. You too. Diane is really good at pretending to be a person. Yeah. And I think this is the last one. This is Brandon. Hello. I'm calling from the Department of Land and Resources to confirm the inspection set for next week. Yeah, let me grab Diane for you. Thanks. This is Diane. Hi, Diane. I'm calling to... Confirm inspections? <laughs> yes. Did you have a chance to look over the email I sent? I did. Everything looks great. Glad to hear it. I'll see you Thursday then. Mm-hmm. Have a good one. You too. There must be a lot riding on these inspections. Okay. So it looks like that is it. Um, how do we... Can we back out of this? 
Um, Who would have thought getting away with murder would be so... Too bad money can't fix all of Typhon's problems. He's talking about it like it's a sure thing. Oh, I see. We can actually select. Damn. Is this what Diane sold her soul for? The this is the email Diane mentioned. Rhea went off undetected. Was there a second blast that night? They only had permits for one. What did Lena say? Without the scheduled blast, Rhea would be discovered? Shit. The blast that killed Gabe was just a cover for another explosion? That's what it sounds like. We didn't hear another explosion, though. It must have gone off somewhere else. If we can find out where it was, that might tell us what it was for. Uh, oh, what was the second blast? Diane has dossiers on the entire Haven Council. That's not creepy at all. Wow. Um, vote status, look at that. Jeez. Seems to have a crush on you, Jason Pike, has been a sheriff's deputy for eight years. Oh, man. This is Rhea. Fuck. This map's too small to tell where this is. I need a map. Uh, we've got a map. That's the site of the 2008 Typhon mine collapse. Wait. They set off a blast in their current mine to cover up a blast in their old mine? That shaft was exhausted years ago. There's nothing left to dig up. What could possibly be down there that's so important to them? Uranium? No? Typhon just had to pass a bunch of inspections at the old site, didn't they? Yeah, so? So, I don't think they were digging something up. They were burying something. Ooh, the plot thickens. And that's the end of chapter three. So, uh, so let's see. Uh, so we chose Steph to distract Diane. Okay. Uh, we didn't take away Charlotte's anger. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm still not entirely sure about that one, guys. Um, Alex made Diane sad. Yeah, well, yeah, sad's better than angry. Alex didn't play the record. Alex did some weeding on the rooftop. Was that an option? Alex didn't weed the rooftop garden. I didn't know that was an option. Uh, Ethan and Alex were never knocked out in battle, of course. Uh, the troll was subdued with magic powder. Excellent. The serpent was put to sleep. Uh, Steph helped Alex find out what Typhon was up to. Steph stormed out of the apartment. Why would she do that? Uh, King Table was vanquished in the final battle. Yes. Riley doesn't know about... Yeah, uh, Alex didn't play the song Stuck in the Student's Head. Uh, Alex and Ethan didn't solve the Jester's Riddle. God damn it, we solved it! But, ugh. Alex and Ethan helped the blacksmith with his work. Yes. All right. Happy with that. Let's, uh... Let's go to the next chapter.